हेलो एवरी वन डू यू नो दैट ब्रेस्ट कैंसर इज द लीडिंग कॉज ऑफ कैंसर थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड इफ यू लुक एट इंडियन सीनैरियो इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी इट वॉज द फोर्थ कॉमन कैंसर इन इंडिया बट टूडे इट इज द लीडिंग कॉज ऑफ कैंसर इन इंडिया सो लेट सी इन टूडेज वीडियो वॉट इज सेल्फ ब्रेस्ट एग्जामिनेशन एंड हाउ इट इज डन self breast examination is a step by step guide to examine your own breast those ladies who are doing self breast examination regularly it is found through studies that they can detect their infection breast lump or cancer at the early stage and this improves their outcome and treatment results If you get any positive finding on self breast examination it is must to go and consult your surgeon or gynecologist and get yourself examined they will advise you certain investigation and test and then you should proceed according to the treatment plan of your doctor self breast examination is done once in every month it just takes few minutes time you can do this test at any time of the day maybe early in the morning while getting ready for your day or late in the evening while taking a shower or when you are lying comfortably on your bed those ladies who are young and having regular periods should do this test after finishing your menses in such ladies you should do test on the fourth or the fifth day of starting of your menses but that should be done on every month those ladies who are having irregular menses or who are post menopausal should do this test on a fixed day of month this day can be any convenient day for you maybe the first day of the month or whatever the convenient day self test examination is very simple test it is done in three parts the first part is visual examination second part is examination by your hand in standing position and the third part is examination by your hand while lying down in the bed in the first part that is visual examination you are supposed to stand in front of a mirror and examine both breast while standing in the first position you should keep both hands by the side of your body in second position you should keep both hands behind your head in third position you should keep both hands on your hips and press them firmly in all of these position you should look at the shape and size of breast any asymmetry any changes in the breast size and shape any changes in the skin of the breast like dimpling or puckering any changes in the nipple areola or discharge from nipple if you find any of these symptoms then you should consult your doctor the second part is examination by hand in a standing position you should stand in front of a mirror and for right breast examination you should your, use your left hand and for left breast you should use right hand This test is done with the pad of the fingers. This is the pad of the fingers. You should use this area to examine your breast. You should start examining your breast from one part and examine whole breast in a circular motion and then lastly the central part. The pressure should be initially very low pressure then the moderate and lastly the firm pressure. After examining the whole breast it is must to examine the armpit or the axillary area and lastly you should squeeze the nipple to look for any nipple discharge as i mentioned earlier if you find any lump or irregularity on the breast any changes in the skin nipple areola or nipple discharge then you should consult your doctor the third part of this test it is must and it should be done in a lying down position for examining your right breast you should use left hand and for the left breast you should use right hand 
while examining your right breast you should keep a small pillow or towel behind your shoulder it is done in the same way as we have done in the second part you should use the pad of your finger and examine whole breast in a circular motion lastly the center portion then the axilla and lastly look for nipple discharge any positive finding during any of these steps then you should consult your doctor this is very simple test easy to learn and it just takes few minutes every month so being a lady it is your responsibility to be aware about the self test examination learn how to do the self test examination and as a good citizen you should educate others as well thank you